wanted to show here is that uh, I wanted to benchmark this laptop and show you how much loud do the fans really get. So what I've done is I've set the camera microphone to the highest sensitivity possible and everything else around us is completely silent. So the only sound you'll hear of is of the laptop. So now I'll start with the lowest mode that is there. I've set it to Windows mode. This is like the really like keeping it down to the basics just for running uh, Windows applications such as Microsoft Office Docs or just browsing the internet. So you'll see how Cinebench runs. I'll run the multi-core test and you can see the run here. And you can also hear how loud the laptop gets. So you can see here that we got a score of uh, 4,279 points and uh, you can hear that the fan started to run for a little while towards the end. So that was on the Windows mode, like the lowest uh, possible mode. And we got a decent score of 4,279 on Cinebench Multicore. Uh, now again, at the highest microphone sensitivity, I would like to shift it to the silent performance mode here. So you can see that this whole mode and everything changes and the silent mode actually like focuses on energy saving and noise reduction and doesn't care much about CPU or GPU performance. So cooling and noise reduction is like really the top priority and it will keep the uh, CPU at a very lower wattage. So let's turn on the Cinebench now here. Can you hear the fan? So now you can see that we actually got a lower score than the Windows version, we got a 3744 points and the fan just came out on a very very little, not much, but we actually got a lower score than the Windows mode in the silent mode. So like the laptop clearly prioritizing on keeping it like as quiet as possible. Now I would like to shift the laptop to performance mode and would like to plug in the charger so that we can get a little bit of performance out of it so you can see it is plugged in 
and in the performance mode. So performance mode it tr actually tries to find a balance of all. So it likes to keep the cooling and the GPU performance a priority. But CPU performance is again not a priority for the laptop. Noise reduction, energy savings is like in the middle. So let's see how it performs. Try to listen to the fan. Like the fan will actually ramp up a little as the workload goes on. So now you can see here that the fan actually ramped up a lot. So it does get a little loud, loud but it is not really annoying at all. And we got a very decent score of 4782 this time. So the score has improved significantly from the silent mode. So that is like the power mode, what the power mode can do. Uh, now we go to the like the top possible mode which is there which is the turbo mode there's also a manual profile there but i haven't really gotten into it so we'll just run a mode at turbo so turbo like doesn't give a shit about noise reduction or energy savings it just wants the best cooling best cpu performance and best gpu performance so this is like the best mode for playing games so let's do a cinematic run here uh, to listen to the fans they they tend to get quite loud in this mode You can hear that the fans have started to ramp up from the very starting itself. So the only sound you hear is of the fans. So now you can see we got a score of 4821. So this is like the highest score there you can get with the turbo mode. And like the GPU performance actually just goes insane once you go into the turbo mode. Here you can see the performance of uh, in Cinebench R20. This is basically a CPU oriented test. Uh, you can see that in the silent mode, the uh, multi core performance is close to 3460 points and the single core is 470 points when you go to the performance mode the multi core performance is almost 4782 points and cpu single core performance is 546 points and the turbo mode does give you a little more performance but not as much the mp ratio also improves but it's not a huge jump so you get like 4860 points hardly some 70 80 points difference between performance mode and turbo mode and hardly five points difference between single core performance so like really whenever you're running the laptop normally performance mode is like one of the best turbo mode is can go for very heavy workloads such as rendering a very huge video or anything else and this laptop really handles davinci resolve very well I edit all my videos on DaVinci Resolve. Thank you for watching this video.